Imagine being told you might never walk again, and then one day you do. Today, we're taking you on a journey into the lives of individuals who, against all odds, are standing tall and walking again. They're doing this by harnessing the power of advanced robotics. Here's Christina Nicholson with the story. Vicki Garrison has lived with a spinal cord injury since 2003. It had a profound effect. I slowed down many days and find different ways to do life. Vicki was told she'd never walk again. Then a lifeline in the form of an exoskeleton. So I lean forward, I get a vibrate, and now it's gonna, it's gonna start walking for me. So it's letting me use a portion of my muscles. It sounds like something out of a superhero movie, but these are real, and they're making a massive difference in people's lives. I'm getting strong, I'm really getting strong. It allows me to use my muscles and walk at the speed that we think is the right thing for me and is very customizable. Exobionics has created this device called the Exo Indigo Personal. It's lightweight and gives Vicky the chance to move like she used to, standing, walking, sitting, squatting, and even dancing again with her husband, Mark. I am doing things that I literally never thought I would do again. My husband, sorry. I have to learn to back off because she can do so much on her own that she was never able to do for a long time. For a busy mother of six, an army veteran who was once told she'd never get out of a power wheelchair, there's one word for it. It's life-changing and I don't use that word lightly. I got it home and walked and I was like, this is it. The prayer was hit. As of April 2024, Medicare has approved coverage for people with spinal cord injuries who qualify for a personal exoskeleton. For more on how this works, I'll send it back to you, Dr. Drew. Thanks, Christina. Now, before we show you exactly how this device works right here in the studio, I wanna bring in Scott Davis, the CEO of Exobionics, Michael Glover, the Director of Clinical Operations, and Jim Graton, who he himself suffered a spinal cord injury and uses the Exo Indigo personal device. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Thank you, Doug. So, Scott, tell me about the company I got started. So, Exobionics is a, is a company that builds wearable robotic exoskeletons that augment human movement. It was born out of UC Berkeley and Vanderbilt University. Yeah. This is where the technologies uh, came out of that we're talking about today. The company uh, in the early days started with some military funding that, that came into the company, but very quickly made a turn toward neuro uh, physical therapy. Yeah. And uh, being able to use an exoskeleton to help people who have suffered a traumatic brain injury, a stroke, spinal cord injury, or uh, multiple sclerosis. Mm. It, it, for someone that's never seen something like this, this feels like space age. Like, oh, I can't believe this is actually happening, that this is available. I remember when Christopher Reeves used to say that one day there'll be a device where, Jim, you're nodding your head. You, did you see that? Did that inspire you? It did. It did once I got exposed to it. Yeah. What's the experience like, Jim? It's really kind of hard to describe. I mean, it's nice to, you know, have the freedom, be able to have a conversation eye to eye, you know, after spending so much time in the wheelchair. And then also have the confidence to know that you can go out in the community and do things and, and, and open up more avenues in your, in your life. And Michael, what kind of training does it require to, to operate something like this? We have a very comprehensive training approach for safety. Mm -hmm. So we train both the person who uses the device and their companion. Do insurances and Medicare cover it? We have definitively heard from CMS, which is the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, that uh, this product has been approved for lump sum reimbursement for those who have suffered a spinal cord injury and qualify. Congratulations. Let's see how it works. Okay. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna go through a series of calibrations. I see. And so he'll lift up to one leg. And you can run. The toe clicks, second leg. This is a very low seat, by the way. And then he leans forward and you push down. Come on. There you go. And so it helps him come on up. But you just tell it you wanna go. It's all of his intentions, so he leans forward. Okay, and then the device starts stepping forward again. Wow, yep. oh my goodness. That, that must be like, thrilling, Jim. I mean, it's, it's thrilling to watch. And then when he says, or if something gets in his way, he just stops getting forward, pauses, and then he comes forward, brings the feet together. Do they ever get independent of the walker? They do. So 
that you always are going to use some walking aid. Like a cane or something? You, either a cane, bilateral crutches, or something like that, so that somebody can have a bit more autonomy. I want people to walk. If you maybe get a shot of his, look how his now naturally is. What was that? You get that heel strike and the toe the heels, off. But the way the toe is, is the angle of the toe I'm lifting is just exactly normal. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And one of the things that I, I always talk about exobionics and the appreciation I have as a clinician, I'm a physical therapist yeah. by profession, is how closely the clinical folks work with the engineers. Yeah. So we work very tightly so that we do help to create these technologies. It, it, that, it literally is the opposite of robotic. It looks biological, which is kind of <laughs> interesting, right? Hey, that's the magic. It's exciting just to see this. I can just imagine how thrilling it must be to be a part of some, a company that does so much. You, you must hear this, right? The, the most inspiring thing to me is hearing stories from people like Jim, people like come Vicky. Up, so come up when, when, when we hear their stories and we see what it means in their life to regain their independence, to regain their sense of self, this is what motivates us at Exobionics. Guys, thank you so much. I want to thank Scott, Michael, and Jim for being here. And if you want to learn more about Exobionics, visit exobionics.com. That is E-K-S-O, bionics, one word, dot com. And we'll be right back.